Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this video tutorial, we are going to be creating this fun leopard print style cake. I have a 4 inch cake and a 6 inch cake that I've used here and I'm just covering it with some dark chocolate ganache mixed in with a little bit of frosting. The recipe for these will be linked in the eye icon up top and in the description box below. Whenever I work with ganache, I like to use a metal scraper, that way I can heat it up under hot water to get the smoothest possible finish. Leave that lip raised, pop it into the fridge to set for about an hour if you can, and then take a super hot knife to cut off the excess. This will just ensure that you have a super super sharp edge every time. Clean up the edge if it's a little bit uh, frilly, and then do the same for a 6 inch cake. I let my cakes rest in the fridge in the meantime while I prepare my fondant. While that's in the fridge, prepare your fondant. I like to use Bakehouse fondant and I've coloured this with some teal gel food colour. I'm also using cornstarch to make sure that my fondant doesn't stick to the countertop. Roll it out about 3mm in thickness, drape it over your cake, press out the air from the top, secure that top edge first. And then when you're ready, undo those pleats and gently massage your fondant onto your cake. The faster you work with this, the less likely you are to get cracks in elephant skin. Take a fondant smoother, smooth out the sides and the top, and then cut off the excess fondant at the bottom. You'll want to knead this back into a bowl, place into a Ziploc bag and into an airtight container for later use. To create the super sharp edges, I like to take two fondant smoothers and clap them together at the very top, give them a good rub at the edge to really pinch that fondant and create sharp edges. Do the same again now for your 4 inch, but this time I kept my fondant white. Which is following again the exact same steps. To stick the fondant to your ganache cake though, you could use a little bit of water with a brush, you could spray some water on there with a spray bottle, or you could do what I love to do and massage a little bit of vegetable shortening all over your cake. This is a lot more forgiving than the water and really helps your fondant to stick on there. Here I'm going to cut off the excess, safely store that before it dries out and then create those sharp edges the same way, pinching that fondant between two fondant smoothers. For the decoration on this one, it's super subtle. I've taken this really cool ribbon cutter tool and I'm just embossing the outside of the cake. I'm making sure that the base of this tool is constantly touching the cake board so I know it's going to be nice and straight. And then because it's see-through, you could see exactly where you're placing it to ensure that the size remains consistent. If you were a little bit heavy-handed like me and the pressure from the ribbon cutter moved your cake, uh, grab a fondant smoother and just press towards the base because sometimes the fondant can lift. For our 6 inch cake, I'm going in now with some gold edible paint. This is gold luster dust that I mixed with some vodka. You could also use lemon juice or uh, white vinegar instead. And create little dots all over the place. Kind of looks like a giraffe sort of effect at the moment, almost. Then take some black gel food colour mixed in again with a little bit of alcohol or some rose water spirit or that non-alcoholic medium like I mentioned before, white vinegar or lemon, and just paint in the sides here and there, breaking that line. And here comes together our leopard print. What I love about this is that you could use any colour as a base. I cannot wait to make a hot pink one. I think it'll look really, really cool against the gold. I'll share the photos with you when I do. And there you go. Let that dry completely. Shouldn't take longer than about half an hour. And when you're ready, we can start assembling our cake. So as usual, I like to take some bubble tea straws cut flush with the top of the cake. You could also use wooden dowels for that instead. And then stick your top tier there with a little bit of frosting. The dowels are put into the bottom tier to make sure that the top tier doesn't concave into it. So it just supports the weight of the top tier. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can see your awesome creations as well. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe if you like. We upload a new video every week.